In today's Poison Netrunner build, I'm going to show you how you can take out an entire camp with no weapons, no stealth, just a couple of quick hacks and some trusty old poison. Let's get into it. This video is sponsored by me. If you do go on to enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and leave it a like, I guess. Why not? Here's a question for you. Let me know in the comments how many of you used quick hacks in your first playthrough. For me, I barely touched them. I used them basically to turn off cameras on the rare occasion and that's it. For this build, I wanted to focus entirely on leveraging quick hacks, especially how broken the legendary variants of the quick hacks are, specifically Contagion and Short Circuit, which once you have upgraded to legendary, they do give you passives, but they also deal a ton of damage just straight out the gate and they don't break your stealth so you can stealth around camps very easily and just one shot enemies. Contagion especially is a spreadable poison quick hack that will spread to pretty much every target in the near vicinity and it can spread through most of an entire camp once you have got all of the perk upgrades and upgraded your poison damage. It can one shot or two shot enemies as it will spread back to an enemy if it hasn't actually killed it. So it will just continue to spread and you can clear out camps pretty much with one quick hack. This build also synergizes very well with stealth as you will primarily have a lot of perks in the cool line so you can maximize your stealth abilities here while using a lot of quick hacks. Now let's talk about attributes. For this build, you only need intelligence and cool and you should max these out. Intelligence is where the quick hacking perks come in and we will be using a couple of the breach protocol perks. This also increases your damage and duration of your quick hacks. Cool is primarily for the cold blood perks as well as some of the poison specific perks that you can get out of the stealth line. You also get some extra survivability and damage from cold blood if you do choose to. For your third stat, it is entirely up to you and that's what makes this build so enjoyable because you can decide for yourself what your third attribute should be or if you just want to be a little bit of a jack of all trades. You could put the points into body, into reflexes or into technical ability depending on how you want to play the game. Your starting attributes for this build should be intelligence 6, cool 6 and I went with body 4 just for a little bit of extra health in the early stages of the game. Now let's break down some perks. The first couple of perks you should get are in the breach protocol line, one of them being mass fun ability which unlocks mass vulnerability daemon when you are using breach protocol which reduces the physical resistances for all enemies in the network by 30 percent for three minutes a variant that you should get of this is the mass vulnerabilities quick hacks which upgrades mass vulnerability and it means that causing enemies in the network to also take 30 percent more damage from quick hacks so then your quick hacks will do even more damage to them and a couple of other things you should get in this line is total recoil so the ice pick daemon reduces all quick hack costs by an additional one ram unit and totala recall does the same thing but it just gives you an extra one ram cost now into quick hacking which is where most of the intelligence perks come from you should pretty much get every perk in this line there is no reason why you shouldn't but pick up everything and upgrade them all the best you can blood wear is super important to your quick hacks deal 10 percent more damage diffusion so your quick hack spread distance is increased by two times and plague so quick hacks that spread can jump to one additional enemy and max this out so you get extra enemies on top of this subliminal messaging so quick hacks deal 50 percent more damage to unaware targets is also important as we are going to be in stealth most of the time so you get a little bit of extra damage there critical error so that quick hacks can deal critical hits based on your crit chance and crit damage the last couple that you need which will make your quick hacks super valuable especially once you get the legendary variants is the crafting perks for quick hacks now these don't require you to have technical ability or any of the crafting skill line you just need these perks and they are in the quick hacking skill hackers manual hackers overload school of hard hacks and bartmos legacy are the perks that will allow you to do the crafting of the quick hack so that you can get the high level variants all you really need is to buy the quick hack from a vendor then once you have the crafting materials you can upgrade it to the legendary variant yourself everything else in the quick hacking line you should pick up it is up to you but i would highly suggest to maximize everything in this line as it does make a huge difference for your quick hacking potential now on to cool from the stealth line from the shadows upon entering combat crit chance increases by 25 percent for seven seconds 
seconds. Crouching Tiger to increase your movement speed while sneaking by 20%. Strike from the shadows to increase your crit chance by 15% while sneaking. Ghost to increase your detection time by 20%. Neurotoxin to increase your poison damage by double. This is huge for Contagion. Hasten the inevitable. Deal 20% more damage to enemies infected by poison. This is in case if you do have to use a weapon to finish them off, you will be able to maximize your damage potential. Rattlesnake. Enemies affected by poison are slowed and toxicology increases the duration of poison applied to enemies by 5 seconds. These will help your poison damage from contagion as well as your stealth abilities. And if you want to go further into the stealth line, you can pick up other perks. But these are the ones that I highly suggest. In the cold blood line, there is a couple of perks that are really beneficial for this build. However, there's more that you can pick up if you choose to go further. You will need the main cold blood perk. After defeating an enemy, gain cold blood for 10 seconds and increase movement speed by 2% and it stacks up to one time. Unbreakable and coldest blood will increase that maximum stack amount by one. Cool aggregate stacks of cold blood are removed one by one, not all at once. And the two primary ones are frosty synapses to reduce quick hack cooldowns by 3% per stack of cold blood and quick transfer to reduce quick hack upload time by 1% per stack of cold blood. Now for your equipment. For armor, anything really goes here. Anything that increases your overall armor value and gives you some crit chance or some crit hit damage is always valuable. But as primarily we're not attacking from direct combat, this is a stealth build, so armor is less important here. In the early stages of the game, you will need some kind of a weapon to deal with enemies until you upgrade your cyber deck to the point that you can one-shot most enemies. But what weapon you use, or if you want to just go full stealth in the early stages of the game, that is up to you. I would also recommend to pick up the mono wire cyberware attachment as we will have a lot of cool in this stat and you do get extra damage with the mono wire by having a high cool stat so it just synergizes well with this build now for your cyber deck and this is where the build really comes together you want to find the best cyber deck you can vic the ripper dog which most of you will know just from playing the main story will have a huge amount of cyber decks you can get and some of the more decent ones that you can get like the epic variant which quick hacks you should get is really up to you but the two critical ones you need is short circuit so that you can deal a ton of damage just by a one quick hit out with a quick hack and contagion for that poison damage spread so that it spreads out to enemies other than that it's up to you i really like weapon glitch i find that that's a really valuable spread quick hack as it does spread across enemies and it stops them from shooting at you if your stealth is broken but it is really up to your personal preference there is some really enjoyable quick hacks to play around with so be sure to pick up a few and see what they do and also check out the legend legendary variants of them as the legendary variants will have a passive ability so some of those passives may be more beneficial just to have it equipped for the passive and you may not even use that quick hack Let's get into some quick build tips. For staying in stealth, one of the key things you need to focus on is making sure that you are peeking from cover. When you move into a cover and you bring up your scanner, you will peek a corner. This will actually protect you from being detected. Whereas if you just moved around the corner, there is a chance that enemies will see you. So you can peek corners with your scanner. This also means that you can use quick hacks from here as well, but it won't actually break your stealth. You should be setting up your fights with breach protocol for the mass vulnerabilities, which will increase your quick hack damage. So make sure you're doing this before you are engaging in combat. Have a weapon available as mentioned just in case things get out of hand. It's always good to have something as a backup in case your stealth gets broken, you run out of RAM and it's all chaos from there. It's a good idea just to have a weapon or two in your back pocket in case you do need them, like the mono wire, for example. And a good benefit here is just honestly staying in stealth to avoid unnecessary fire. Once you do maximize your quick hacks and they start dealing a lot of damage, you can really just stealth your way through most camps without too much of a care in the world and just pop a contagion or a short circuit here and there and for the most part enemies won't see you because they're going to die before they can actually see you so it's kind of broken but it's just a ton of fun if you want to move quickly through campsites if you're looking for more netrunner builds why not check out my shotgun netrunner build or if you want something a bit more in your face check out my gun runner build where we're just going to blast enemies away with a rifle Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and on Twitch, where I stream three days a week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, Australian night times. Hope to see you guys there in the next stream. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Norza, and I hope you have a great day.